workers continued dying. NBC Action News has learned Bannister officials were spending about a quarter of a million dollars on public relations. It's back when the agency was refusing to answer questions from Russ Patasek. Russ. Mark, Kansas City blogs have repeatedly lampooned Bannister officials for the way they responded to our investigation into sick workers, especially after we uncovered proof they had records of the death list. Critics suggest the General Services Administration needed a good PR firm. Turns out the government did exactly just that at the height of our investigation, spending your tax dollars on a $234,000 PR contract. The cost shocked sick former Bannister workers like Katie Suckliff. Am I angry? Yes. That's money not well spent. Is it stupid? Yes. Does what shocked her even more? The timing of the Bannister public relations contract coming one day after this key moment in our investigations. And it goes without saying that I will demand more transparent and comprehensive testing throughout the Bannister complex. The General Services Administration hired the PR firm one day after Senator Kip Bond made this angry speech on the floor of the United States Senate about our investigation into the death list at Bannister. For the safety of the workers, we need to know what is going on, what has happened at Bannister, what has gone on in the past, who knew about it, why they did nothing about it, and how to move immediately to protect these potentially at risk. Senator Bond called for an investigation, and the very next day, GSA hires a public relations firm. Why not hire somebody to investigate what was going on? When we notified Senator Bond today, he released this statement saying, GSA's priority should be working to identify the problems at Bannister, fix them, and provide current and former workers answers, not a taxpayer-funded PR campaign. Today, a GSA official says the contract was in the works before the bond speech. The GSA hired Kansas City firm Jane Mobley Associates. That PR firm didn't return our calls today, which is the same thing the GSA did after retaining the firm. The GSA officials today saying that they couldn't provide an on-camera interview because of the federal holiday, but a spokeswoman said the PR firm helped more than just in publicity, saying the agency also coordinated interagency response to the toxins and illnesses uncovered by our investigation. I'm investigative reporter Russ Patasik, NBC Action News.